So you want to learn how to copy and paste using Infinite Paint. I'm going to show you how you can do that and how quick and easy it is. And I'm going to use one of my tutorials as a little sort of reference that we can use. So if we take a look at this layer here, I've got the arms and the nose on one layer. But let's say I want to copy that carrot and put it onto a separate layer. How do I do that? It's really simple. If you go up to your tools, go to the option of edit. And you can use any one of the selection tools. Typically, the best one to use for me is the lasso tool. You can just simply draw around the object that you want. And then you get this little sub menu here at the bottom. Now, what you can then do is if you go to the option of duplicate, it's just a different word for copy and then paste. It will do both at the same time. So you go duplicate and then it's going to be on a transform, which means I can move it around. You can see I've copied and pasted it onto another layer. And you can see from my layers that the original carrot is still on the same layer it was before. So I've now undone that, but let's say you want to go ahead and cut and paste. So if we go ahead and we do exactly the same, I'm on the layer I want to cut and paste from. I go up to my edit options and I go to the lasso. If we go ahead and make a selection around it, and then we take a look at the options down here, what we want to do is use the option of isolate. Again, it's just another word for the phrase of cut and paste. If I go to isolate, it's going to cut it from that layer and paste it onto its own layer. Meaning now if I move it around, we can see it is completely separate from the arms and the hair there of the twigs from the layer as it was before. And I can hit the tick when I'm done and it's on a completely separate layer. And by the way, if we go to our create options, we go back to edit and the lasso tool, you can go ahead and copy multiple things here. As long as you draw around the object that you want, if I want that nose and I want this arm here, I can make multiple selections and you can adjust your selection using this here. You can clear it, you can invert it so I can select everything but those areas. So just mess around with the selection options there to match whatever it is that you need to try and accomplish in your design. Now you do also have this option here of copy merged. And what that does is the selection you've made, it's not gonna just look at that singular layer, it's gonna look at every layer. So if I go ahead and undo this, and I just have the one selection around the carrot. So let's clear that. Let's then go ahead and make a selection around the carrot. Notice how I've got this eye and that carrot. But on the layer, it's just got the carrot. If I went to the option here of copy merged, again, it's looking at every single other layer for content. And if I go copy merged, and I now move this around, it copied everything on your entire design onto one new layer. So it's pasted everything it saw at the time. And of course, if you want to go ahead and just duplicate everything on one layer, essentially copying and pasting, you just tap on a layer and go to the option here of duplicate. And when you do that, you're going to get everything on that layer on a completely new layer. So you've essentially copied and pasted everything. And you can see there, I can move the arms and the nose around. So that's it. That's how you copy and paste an Infinite Painter. Again, if you want to follow this tutorial, it's available on the channel. I've got a bunch of tutorials using Infinite Painter and also these two how-to videos that you can see on screen now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.